Time to drop sin. Hard word. Time to possess your land. Lynette is getting ready to piggyback on the message from Saturday's service. And I hope it blesses your heart. God bless you as you hear what Lynette felt led to talk about. Give a gift of thanks on the altar to God and pay your promises to the Most High. Call on me in the day of trouble and I will take you out of trouble and you will honor me. But to the sinful, God says, what right do you have to tell me of my laws and take my agreement in your mouth? For you hate to be told what to do and you throw my words behind you. When you see a robber, you are pleased with him and you join those who do sex in. You say bad things with your mouth and you lie with your tongue. You sit and speak against your brother. You talk against your own mother's son. You have done these things and I have kept quiet. You thought I was just like you, but I will speak sharp words to you and tell you who is guilty to your face. Now think about this, you who forgot God, or I will tear you in pieces and there will be no one to save you. He who gives a gift of thanks honors me. And to him who makes his way right, I will show him the saving power of God. That's Psalm 50. And that thing is so powerful and lined up so right with what uh, Sister Pat was saying. So you're going to do what you're supposed to do. No excuses. Cats, dogs, whatever you got going on, whatever. But God says, you know, like um, Sister Pat gave the uh, illustration, you know. Well, I got this, and I had it so hard, and I can't, and I can't. And all this, this mess, and God is saying, you can do all things with Christ Jesus with strength with me. You need to read Psalm 50 for yourself, the whole thing, because God honors the godly, but he turns his face from the, from the, from the uh, wicked. And he also said, as she said, that you keep dabbling and messing around and doing stuff, you're not going to be doing it for long. Whatever that means, however God's going to do it, he, you know, that's exactly what he means. You're, you're going to get shut down. And that's, that's, it is a strong word, and he even had it backed up with his confirmation on that. So, um, yeah, in these last days, God is really shaking it up in his house, but the home house, he's start, he starting with me. Because, um, um, you know, the very thing that I'm saying, God, God has been dealing with me about anything that, from my past, because remember, Jeremiah says that your heart is desperately wicked, and nobody knows it but the Lord, and God will dig stuff out, show you stuff about in him, see this right here, see that right there, this got to go, this got to go, and I said, yes, Lord, even if it hurts, whatever, I said, I'm going to die, Lord, I die as a living sacrifice, and that's where he wants us, it's not hard, you just got to die. It's not hard at all. Everybody wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to die. And die means let go of your pets and whatever else you got going on. Die. Or God, you got to comply or you will die. And that's it. I'm out. 